Hello, this is a model of the motor unit. Uh, we use this model uh, to learn about the anatomy of uh, skeletal muscles and uh, also about the anatomy of the motor neurons. Um, on the model, uh, they, uh, they show the outer covering of the muscle fiber, which is uh, fibrous connective tissue, and uh, the layer is named endomycium. Below the endomycium is the sarcolemma of the muscle fiber. And uh, on the model, we also notice the myofilaments. So all of these structures that's going up and down the muscle fiber, these represents the myofilaments. In this view, we also notice the dark band and also the light band. And in the center of the light bands, we notice a thin line that represents what is known as the Z-line or the Z-disc. The area between two adjacent Z-lines represents a unit known as sarcomeres. And skeletal muscles are divided into these functional units that we call sarcomeres. The motor neuron shown on, on the model is a myelinated nerve fiber. And uh, if we take a look at the structure in this view, we, uh, we notice that in the center is the axon or the nerve fiber. And uh, around the axon we have layers, represents lipid materials known as myelin sheath. And the myelin sheath is produced by cells that surrounds the fiber and uh, these cells are known as Schwann cells. And in this view we also see the nucleus of the Schwann cell. If we follow the motor neuron to the terminal lens we notice that the motor neuron will branch into these gray branches shown on the model and these represent what is called axonal terminals. And if we follow one of these axonal terminals we notice they end in rounded structures and these rounded structures known as synaptic knobs. Inside of the synaptic knobs uh, there are synaptic vesicles. They contain the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which is required for the stimulation of the skeletal muscle. In this view, we also notice that part of the sarcolemma is different because it looks folded and uh, that is the area where we find the receptors for the acetylcholine. So in order for the skeletal muscles to get stimulated, the released acetylcholine will bind to the receptors on the sarcolemma and causes depolarization of the membrane or the sarcolemma.
in another view of uh, the area between the nerves and between the muscle, we also notice in this view, uh, we notice the knob, the synaptic knob, and we also notice the motor end plate where the sarcoma is folded, where the receptors for the acetylcholine are located. But in this view in here, we also notice that there is space in between the synaptic knob and between the sarcolemma. And uh, that space is known as the synaptic cleft. The area where we have connections between the nerve and between the muscle, that area is known also as the neuro muscular junction. So, by using this model, we learn that skeletal muscles are voluntary muscles. They require stimulation from the motor neuron through the release of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Thank you.